Welcome back, everybody, to WWTA News. Thank you again for joining us for another episode. Uh, before we get started, could I get you to hit that like button if you have not done so? And also, if you have any family, friends, or loved ones who you think could use any of this information, please feel free to share the link to the video. Well, so, yeah, um, we got some information to get through, got some news to get through. But uh, before we get started, I know right now uh, it seems that, you know, the market really isn't doing much again. Um, you know, I'm not checking in as much as I normally would. I'm just kind of still in the process of while these markets are low, uh, exchanging these U.S. dollars for other currencies. That's all I'm doing right now. And by other currencies, obviously, I'm talking about digital currencies in the digital space right now. Uh, based on all the news, understanding where this this thing is going, that's all I'm doing right now. So th that's what I'm doing. Not financial advice. I'm just sharing my thoughts and ideas, the things that I'm doing right now, things that I'm thinking about doing. And so I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, you've got to figure out your way and how you're going to get things done and what you should be doing. It's your decisions. Uh, but now we're going to move into some news articles. And this is what kind of helps me do what I'm doing. So. Our first article, it is play slots with Bitcoin, the newest trend in online gambling. Now, online gambling took off right before the pandemic, I believe, in the United States. And I mean, it became a crazy thing. Now, before that happened, uh, I already knew that we were going to see online gambling and slot machines on our devices. I knew it was coming now. You can go to websites from your device, uh, but like I know that apps are coming, right? Like I know apps are coming. So because my understanding of like how the nature of the system works, I was like, OK, so let me start moving into gaming, um, gaming digital assets, because as it becomes more important, we're going to start seeing those 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 digital uh the digital cash or digital currency being used uh, for the online gaming. So one of the first ones I jumped in was uh, jumped in on was Wink, and I did that years ago. Um, w i n k, and I got involved with that because it was like it's, I mean, it's online gambling. You 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 use their browser from their wallet, and you can gamble online. Now, I don't gamble. I'm not into that uh, as far as slot machines and stuff like that. I, you know. Ugh. I mean, you could say gambling is a part of life because every day when you get in a vehicle and drive, you're gambling. So, no, I'm talking about online gambling with money for, you know what I'm saying, games and stuff like that. I don't really do that. Not my cup of tea. But I figured, you know, hey, this, this is going to come in handy. It's going to be very useful uh, for all those people that love that space because a lot of people love gambling i mean all the time whether they're in these little gas stations pulling these slot machines that's what they do they love it right so you know like wink then i heard of one called casino coin i believe this is back when it was based on ethereum when i first came across it now it's back on the uh, uh xrp uh, ledger but these are two of the uh, different coins that I thought I was going to hold a good amount of based on the fact of online gambling. Now, lo and behold, what do we see? Bitcoin, the newest trend, online gambling, right? The newest trend isn't online gambling. That's old. But the newest trend is that you're now using Bitcoin to do it. Right. Like Bitcoin's now tied and attached to online gambling. Crazy, right? All right, we've got an article here that says banks, excuse me, ban banks from holding crypto, uh, UN development body says. So the, the UN, the UN says ban crypto, right? Really? <laughs> ban the banks from holding it. So this is a two-edged sword. You won't need a bank. If you're dealing in crypto, you become the bank yourself. I think we've had this discussion numerous times, right? So it's like, okay, well, what do we need banks for if we can hold our own currencies in our own wallets, right? 
So not only does this push them out of the situation, but it also takes them from controlling your money value and your assets and your worth because that's what a bank does if you don't have the mental mind capacity to manage these things yourself and you put this in the hands of a bank then they're going to manage it and they're going to make money from from managing your stuff as well as they're going to make money off of your stuff right so it's kind of like a two-edged sword it's not really a good thing like it's it's you know it's it's not really a good thing it is and it's not you know what i'm saying so some people just don't know about money managing, so you, you really need a bank to do that. I don't agree with it, but it just so happens that some people just will not manage their own money and finances. And then, you know, companies and banks, they're like, well, we can make sure that money does what it does. Don't worry about it. We got you covered. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the UN. Why? I don't know. That's a good question. Why would they actually want to do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, we always know the front story, but it's like, there's always a bigger story in the background. It's not being discussed. We're just going to share the basic information to get you an understanding so you kind of go with it, right? They've recommended extra taxes on transactions and add restrictions to boost states' revenue and safeguard financial stability in developing countries. So um, if you don't have banks, then that's money that you're not spending as a person with your bank, right? If you, your bank, you're your bank yourself, then your transactions get taxed then yes technically that's more revenue for the state so now the states are no longer being pressured and under the crazy authority that banks have had because they have the money right they control the money they pretty much control the governments right we already understand this through lobbying okay so makes sense could that be what they're trying to put it into i don't know all right, we got an article here from Forbes that says floodgates of capital. Crypto is braced for 21 trillion boom as price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Solana, Cardano, Luna, Shiba Inu, and Dogecoin skyrocket. That's pretty interesting. I mean, they literally took the time, time to call all that out, you know what I'm saying? It says, meanwhile, last week, America's largest crypto exchange, Coinbase, announced a partnership with BlackRock, the biggest asset ma uh, manager in the world, to bring Bitcoin to institutional investors at scale. We already knew that the next big boom that was going to come, I don't know if it's here yet, but we knew the next big boom that was going to come was going to have to come from the institutions, companies and corporations. Big money has to start making their move in this. Now, we know that a few laws got passed allowing banks and whatnot to hold these currencies, right? But we also knew that this was a gateway. Institutions are going to come in and they're going to come in big. So what we saw in my personal uh, uh, belief in 2021, when we saw that market green just going crazy, that was all still really just retail. And a few companies maybe got involved, but it's mostly just retail. And when you look at it, you were like two trillion. I think at some point it was it was almost close to three trillion dollar total market cap. That's that's really nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's really like that's really no money. So I mean, it's money, but it's not really money when you think on the basis of a country, right? A whole country, or or a whole corp, big corporation company, like such as the likes of the United States, because you can look at the debt of the United States, like thirty trillion dollars of debt. So we look at that number, we're like, ah, two trillion is really not that big, especially when you start thinking about the whole, the whole of all the countries combined. It's like all the land masses combined, all the the companies and corporations and it combined. It's like that's really no money at all. So I mean, we look at that, and then it's like, boom, really no money. All right. It says in short, Coinbase will provide BlackRock's Aladdin clients with direct access to Bitcoin, right? So Coinbase in connection with BlackRock is bringing direct access to Bitcoin to clients. For the first time, most institutional investors will be able, let's get that one more time. For the first time, most institutional investors will be able to hold, trade, and broker the actual cryptocurrency instead of derivative instruments. And this is where we heard about people buying the thought of Bitcoin, not actual Bitcoin. So they're opening up the gates. Now, when this happens, this is what I suspect. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. But what I suspect is when that, that floodgate opens, because they're still waiting on legislation. But when that floodgate opens, 
it's going to get ugly. You're going to see big money. You're you talking about trillionaires, millionaires, billionaires. Are you talking about all the money that's going to come into this space when they start coming in? Oh, come on. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. All right. It says Aladdin is BlackRock's flagship asset management platform that serves as a dashboard for some of the biggest fund managers in the world. As of 2020, it administered a crazy 21.6 trillion, which comes to around 7% of all assets in the world. 21.6 trillion worth of assets across the world, right? We had a market cap of over 2 trillion in like 2021, right? 2021 everybody's making money it's mayhem out here it's crazy right your money was being made that was a little over two trillion at the time we're talking about when the floodgate opens just alone from blackrock we're going to see the potential of 21.6 trillion coming to the space Mm. we ain't seen nothing yet when you thought you had money in 2021 because the money fell all right everybody knows but when you were in 2021 and that money was good you was like oh wow this is crazy look at all this money i've never in my life never never you know what i'm saying never 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 i ain't never seen no money like when you thought that was it that was like a little over two trillion and i believe you go back in my videos you'll hear me talk about like yeah but that's only two trillion dollars value it's really not no money in comparison, look at all the money that's got to come into the space. And that's why right now, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. But that's why right now is such a great time for you to be making moves in this space. If you ain't made no moves and you scary and you sitting by the edge of the pool, dipping your foot in there every now and then, you don't want to jump in that water. You are literally going to find yourself with no space to get in the pool because when everybody else gets in that pool, the pool going to be full. And it's going to be hot outside and you're going to be sweating like crazy and you can't even get in the pool. You just sat there the whole time dipping your foot in it. Listen, 21.6 trillion is yet to come in this space. BlackRock alone, Aladdin's Black, excuse me, BlackRock's Aladdin alone is going to bring in 21.6 trillion. Okay, just just absorb that information. Think about it, digest it, and think about it, and get a full understanding of what that means and what the potential is for you in the near future. But let's continue. But while coming on Aladdin theoretically opens a door to trillions of institutional dollars, Bitcoin's sluggish reaction hints that big investors won't rush to back up the truck on crypto, especially in light of recent events, obviously. So mainly they're just talking about legislation. Legislation is what everybody's been waiting on. Institutions, they're tied into legislation, law, and everything else. So when they take a hit, they can't mess around like us in this world and take a hit and and, and we can survive from it. That destroys companies, you know what I'm saying? So they got to be very careful how they're moving in that environment. And that's why as soon as this legislation stuff gets pushed through, institutions, uh, Aladdin from BlackRock, 21.6, that's just the beginning, okay? Think about all the other institutions that has not been discussed yet. Crazy money, okay? Do you think there's only $21.6 trillion worth of value in assets and money that exists in this whole existence of mankind? That's crazy. It's like $400, $500 trillion worth. And that's not even including the resources that are still being found today that most countries are beginning to dig up. So that's going to add to the total value. So, I mean, if you just let's just say $500 trillion has got to come into this space. We're talking about now Aladdin's BlackRock bringing in 21. We we come from two trillion dollar market cap. Now we're going to see 21 immediately from BlackRock. Just as soon as I mean BlackRock's Aladdin, just as soon as they can get in, they're like boom, they're bringing it, right? That's one. All right, so that's crazy. Look, that's crazy. Let's move along, but that's crazy, though, right? So we got an article here that says latest report shows Ethereum wells uh, buy three three hundred and twelve billion sheba or shiba inu during the crypto winter right so 312 billion shiba inu during the crypto winter was bought right mm, uh, well you know it is what it is um you do your research on it I, I i can't tell you what to do on this stuff uh it's shiba inu um look it up um 
research it if you find value in it that's you know that that could be some interesting stuff you know 312 billion worth of sheep 312 billion sheep not not it didn't say worth but 312 billion sheep was bought right next article central banks can safely invest in bitcoin with blackrock's bitcoin private trust says dcg founder right <laughs> come on hey man they can finally do it digital currency group founder barry silver suggested with blackrock's bitcoin trust central banks now have an easy safe way to invest in bitcoin central banks central banks right central banks they're trying to get in the space right legislation laws make it legal Come on now, when Central Bank, we were just talking about uh, Black Rocks Aladdin. Now, Central Banks, right? Fun fact from Barry Silbert, Black Rock advises and invests money for many of the Central Banks around. Oh, Black Rock does the investments for many Central Banks. So could the Central Banks also be under um, Aladdin? Another fun fact, Central Banks now have an easy, safe way to invest Bitcoin. So I, I'm going to speculate I don't I can't prove this, but based on the last article that um, Aladdin is is a money management. Right. So central banks up under BlackRock, either they're going to be a different branch or uh, something that BlackRock is directly dealing with central banks or maybe it's tied into Aladdin. Either way, I mean, we're still talking twenty one point six trillion. Is this a part of the twenty one point six trillion or is it separate? If it's separate, I mean, we still got more money. That's got to come into the space. So, wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. All right. So, look. That's the end of our articles for the day. That's a lot of stuff to think about. Um, we are in a uh, dead market right now. And, you know, I, I believe I talked about in the previous video. To me, I think we're in a four-year cycle. Um, so, I'm kind of carrying it that way. I'm, I'm treating the next uh, three years directly as time to convert my dollars into different currencies that I hold value in and so you do your own research and you find which uh, coins or which currency or which cash this digital cash that you find value in and you move uh, your funny money into that money because you, you know we look at the whole story the United States it's a done deal you know what I'm saying I know they you know oh well we've got enough military power we can keep the dollar alive well you know that's okay if you believe that but financially we're talking business and if nobody wants to do business with the u.s what does that do for your dollar nobody wants to do business with the u.s it's coming okay it's not a secret you've got the BRICS, uh the BRICS nations what do we have brazil russia um india uh china uh, south africa and you have more nations and countries tying themselves to that all right so i mean it's it's not a secret if unless you're just not paying attention you're not tuned in I mean, the greatest nation has been the United States because of what? The ability to sanction in their military might. And so that's coming to a close. If you look at what's happening over in Europe, you know, you're seeing them financially getting getting some punches. You know what I'm saying? It's like things aren't looking too good. Now, let's just honestly call it what it is. You know, Europe birthed the United States. Europe birthed it okay let's just look at what colonization was they sent uh um first uh they sent militaries over right and the militaries began to fight the battles as they tried to conquer and colonize right so that was some of the first things that happened secondly they started sending over kicking out criminals from europe they that's what they did they, they threw out criminals so if you had broken laws you had a criminal background they sent you on a boat as an indentured servant right and you're going to serve your time and then you be released into the wild right i mean just it is what it is that's what happened um and so um this this united states that you know about is literally birthed from europe so as you look at what's happening in europe it's like, OK, well, that's mama. Right. Mama pushed out a baby. Right. And the baby is United States. And so if mama's taking a beating, what's going to happen to the daughter? The daughter's going to take a beating, too. You know what I'm saying? Unless she can. You know, that's a whole nother conversation. But the point is they're connected. They're literally connected. OK. And so what you see happening to one is surely going to happen to the next. It is what it is. So you need to be prepared. You need to have your mind open and, 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 and thinking and understanding of what's, what's to come in the future. Whether you have gold and silver, 
Um, whether you have um, actual assets that you have tucked away somewhere, it is what it is. You're still prepared to deal with the fail of the dollar, the failure of the dollar, because it's on the it's on the way. It's on the way. Other countries are done dealing with the hegemony of the United States and uh, Europe as well. So something new is happening. Something different is happening. Prepare yourself. Look ahead into the future. If you found any value in this video, please hit that like button. It helps more people see this uh, video in this channel and receive this information. And again, if you have any family, friends, or loved ones who you feel could use any of this information, please again share a link to the video or send the video directly to them so they can see it as well. And with that being said, hey, I will catch you all in our next episode.